and I'll tell you the meaning of reviving. I am not reforming. I want all of you to know I am not reforming. I am only reviving. Whatever is in the scripture, is in the tradition, I am just reviving and making it user friendly for everyone in the modern day. That's it. I'll tell you the definition of a reviver. Reviver is the person who stands with responsibility boldly and declares, if you come along with me, come with me along with you. If not, alone. If you oppose, in spite of you, I'll make it happen. If you want to be part, come along with me. If not, I'll do it on my own. If you oppose in spite of you, I'll make it happen. This courage will persistence, responsibility, hard work. Hard work has no replacement. Still no replacement is found on the planet Earth for hard work. Sincerely, sitting and I'll go on, review, 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 what happened to this, what happened to this, what happened to this, what happened to this. My head is like an automatic reviewing machine. Everything put inside, there will be auto, there is automatic Google alarm. Every day, it will just start. <laughs> Paranda Paramashivoham Om Nityananda Paramashivoham Om Nityananda Paramashivoham Om Nityananda Paramashivoham Inner space can be purified with unclutching, so the negative news doesn't influence you, impact you, collapse you. Five tips to protect yourself from this impact of deluge, pralaya, how you can save yourself and enlighten you, have a super conscious breakthrough using this great opportunity, your biology is a living organism, 
organization run by oneness energy without any friction between the different organs is called organism listen i am explaining organization which is run by oneness without any incompletions internal problems fights between the organs is organism your biology is a living organism when there is a internal conflicts and problems between the organs that is disease keep your self as a healthy organism through oneness understand oneness is the most powerful immunizing method oneness can be a powerful catalyst agent making you immune understand when i say immune i mean even biologically immune See, it can consciously make you immune from all the pandemic fatigue and all the other side effects after effects the cascading crisis of this deluge this pandemic one us practice can make even your biology immune i tell you more and more if you practice oneness with parama shiva or guru all your internal organs will start getting organized become organism let me describe define oneness oneness means you know thoroughly absolutely with your whole being parama shiva exists and the core of what you feel as you is the pure reflection of him so you your guru who initiated you and parama shiva all three are one and the same there is no three there is no three there is only one and the same sit in that oneness just only parama shiva is breathing he is sitting with 25 heads 75 eyes 50 hands beautifully with manon mani in his lap and abaya varada as kailasa his radiation of super conscious energy is you his breathing is you his aliveness is you his life is you sit in that oneness this is what i define as oneness revival of hinduism is happening now but that does not mean it started now no it is there for thousands of years and i'll tell you the meaning of reviving i am not reforming i want all of you to know i am not reforming i am only reviving whatever is in the scripture is in the tradition i am just reviving and making it user friendly for everyone in the modern day that's it i'll tell you the definition of a reviver reviver is the person who stands with responsibility boldly
to transmit that experience to all of you. It's my commitment to all of you. I'll make you experience and manifest Sadashivatva, powers and state and space of Sadashiva. When you manifest powers, naturally the state of Sadashiva and space of Sadashiva starts manifesting in you. More power manifestation, more integrity, more unclutching, more nirvigalpa samadhi, more joy, more restful awareness, more responsibilism, more enriching, more bliss. This tradition has a capacity to retain its authenticity and originality. My purpose is to make this statement to the world, Hinduism is real. Ideas move from mind to mind. Energy moves from space to space. Cognitions move from body to body. That is why even Sadashiva needs a body. He assumed the body because he needs body to transmit these cognitions to you. Whatever I am doing is reviving the original science as expressed in Sanatana Hindu Dharma, Vedas and Agamas of the Hindu tradition. Given by Sadashiva, received by Devi, adopted by Vishnu to run this universe is Agama. Agamas insist on us serving beyond our frame. Whatever experience, Anubhuti I had by my Guru's grace, Atma Pramana. I do acid wash with Shastra Pramana, Apta Pramana. The ancient master's experiences. Whatever finally stands, I share it with the world as Sakshi Pramana. I welcome everyone for the grand feast of Sanatana Hindu Dharma. Let us go on contributing, contributing, contributing.
Nityanandam paramasukadam kevalam jnanamurtam Vandvāti tangagana sadrusham tattvamasya dhilakshyam Ekam nityam vimalam achalam sarvadi sakshi bhūtam Bhavāti tam triguna rahitam sadgurum tam namāmi Nityananda, welcome all of you. So happy to welcome thousands of you from the thousands of e Kailashians joining us from the thousands of Kailasas all across the globe. And all the viewers joining us from over 250 Facebook pages, YouTube channels, and all the other social media platforms. All the Paramashiva Home Season 11 participants, the Paramashiva Gana program participants. Welcome all of you with love and respects. Every single day, all of us are again and again joining back exactly the same tuning it at this time to connect to Swamiji, to know who Swamiji is. We as reason some join because they want healing. Some of us join to enhance our spiritual knowledge. Some of us join just to have darshan of Swamiji. Some just joining. So just, to, just curious to know what Swamiji is going to be telling. There may be many reasons that what brings you here today. But in all those reasons, one thing, one person who's constant is His Divine Holiness, Bhagavan Sri Nityananda Paramashivam, for whom all of us from various different time zones, various walks of life have gathered here now. His Divine Holiness, Bhagavan Sri Nityananda Paramashivam, is the supreme pontiff of Hinduism and Avatar, the revival of Kailasa, the great cosmic borderless nation, the only Hindu nation in the world. Swamiji has been continuously working, Swamiji, and all the Nitya and the order of monks and nuns, the sovereign order of Kailasa, everyone has been continuously working for bringing global peace. is Nityananda Hindu University, which is the world's largest Hindu university with extended campuses in all for 150 countries, has been continuously working on collecting, organizing, preserving, time capsuling, decoding, spreading, and reviving the 20 million source books of Hinduism, the 64 sacred arts and sciences, like pottery, sculpture, Ayurveda, astrology, etc. Swamiji's contribution to Sanatana Hindu Dharma is vast. And because Swamiji is being continuously contributing, con doing the real contribution, say today, if you are here, if you have been watching Swamiji's videos for more than a year, or even in, in just this year, suddenly you saw Swamiji and you saw his work. You just started getting deeply connected to Swamiji. Take a moment and leave a comment now. Just take a moment and leave your comment. Just tell how long you have been knowing, uh, knowing Swamiji for, or how long you have been following him on YouTube, or you have been watching his videos on Facebook, or maybe you might have attended an, any online program of Swamiji. Just take a moment and leave your comments now. Please take a moment. You can even share this video. You can share this video because in a few more minutes, we are going to be having the satsang, the live divine audience with Tavatar. So take a moment and share this video. You can also leave your comment on how long you have been knowing Swamiji for. 
so if you have been knowing swamiji for quite some time you would be knowing the whole thing is his entire mission his expansion of the mission everything is completely based on his hard work and tyaga ultimate sacrifice that he's doing just so that all of us benefit like as the swamiji made a very powerful statement at 14 he left his home to make a home for all of us hindus at 40 he gave up his country to make a country for all of us that courage that confidence that swamiji has is something even many of the attackers abusers are not able to handle they are very clear like this is something phenomenal we have never seen someone who can be so strong who can be so confident somebody will keep telling that i am a reviver of hinduism i'm not a reformer and everyone can very clearly see that like how somebody has been reviving so many sciences today clearly because somebody started reviving the power manifestation power manifestation is an extremely powerful science where you are initiated and you are made to manifest powers if you have been initiated before and you are here please do let us know if you have been able to manifest any powers or you have been initiated into the power manifestation if you have been initiated into healing you can let us know you can just put it in the comments so many of you here are itself a witness how the power manifestation science has helped you live in a divine way it has helped each one of us to transform our lives to live our lives in the best way so like this swamiji has given so many things to humanity and because swamiji has been giving all these and he is doing the real work real contribution and really bringing the legitimacy to sanatan hindu dharma he is being persecuted he is being attacked more than 100 assassination attempts directly on swamiji has happened and thousands of attacks on the monastery complexes and on the disciples and hours together of character assassination all over media social media but despite of all of that he has been standing as because of his hard work and tyaga let's watch a small video that shows his hard work and tyaga the first and foremost sacred secret i want you to know integrity is falling in love with your higher personality understand you do have sadashivatva in you you are hard wired for it it's not that your sadashivatva is gift from somebody no understand just like how when you fall asleep you put a alarm and tell the alarm hey wake me up tomorrow morning same way that's exactly the way i sent my gurus i sent my gurus to the planet earth ahead of me and said hey i am coming wake me up when i assume the human body My alarm clocks were my gurus. Hey, wake me up. Understand? They just reminded me to fall in love with my higher personality. Sada Shiva. started my public life in a very young age immediately after 
ஆஃப்டர் ஐ ரியலைஸ் மை என்லைட்டன்மெண்ட் ஐ டுக் மை ஃபஸ்ட் பாதயாத்திரா ஆஸ் பர் மை குருஸ் இன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ஷன் தட் பாதயாத்திரா இஸ் மை ஃபஸ்ட் என்ரிச்சிங் பாதயாத்திரா சி ஐ ஷுட் சே ஐ ஸ்டார்ட் அட் ஆர்கனைஸ்ட் பப்ளிக் லைஃப் இன் டூ தௌசண்ட் பட் மை பப்ளிக் லைஃப் ஸ்டார்ட் அட் இன் வென் ஐ வாஸ் டுவெல் ஹவ் ஐ ஸ்டார்ட் அட் மை பப்ளிக் லைஃப் ஒன் பர்சன் அட் அ டைம் i will walk from village to village sit spend some time and small boy naturally people will be curious all alone they will come and try to talk to me then i'll start talking to them and start enriching whatever little way i know it was a raw crude ground level way one person at a time so i decided i am going to start my own way one person at a time பரிவராஜ யாத்ரா ஹேப்பன்ஸ் ஒன்லி வென் யூ மூவ் அவுட் ஆஃப் ஜாய் ஐ டெல் யூ ஐ வாஸ் மூவிங் லைக் பேனியன் லீஃப் இன் த பிரீஸ் when a leaf falls from the tree in the breeze how it moves that's the way i moved in my life that is why my parivrajaka even to remember is a joy for me i tell you shortest distance between two points is a straight line so most smartest strategy is hard work with integrity that's all that's the most smartest strategy i decided let me sit and start doing start empowering start enriching it's actually that is the way i remember me even now when i close my eyes i don't remember me sitting in a golden throne when i close my eyes i only remember the boy village boy with a stick on his shoulder a kamandalu before hindus could recognize i have created a very powerful enlightenment ecosystem everywhere spiritual awakening is happening enlightenment is happening people are manifesting enlightenment manifesting powers everything Kailasa is reviving the enlightenment ecosystem. The Kailasa will be the place where almost million man power manifestors are living and running at least 10 million temples and monasteries which are spiritual embassies of Paramashiva and 
రివైవింగ్ దిస్ ఎన్లైట్మెంట్ పవర్ మేనిఫెస్టింగ్ సివిలైజేషన్ కైలాస్ ఇస్ అ ప్లేస్ వేర్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ రిలేటెడ్ టు సూపర్ కాన్షియస్నెస్ ఇస్ రివైవ్ ఆల్ ద సంప్రదాయ ఆల్ ద స్పిరిచువల్ ఈకో సిస్టమ్స్ Elasa is a place where everything related to superconsciousness is revived. All the sampradaya, all the spiritual ecosystems created for enlightenment will be revived. And established in such a way it never gets lost. there forever serving the humanity hard work course and actually already i would say these somji is outdated these videos but the amount of work he's doing 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 and expanded in mahabharata the whole bhagav in the mahabharata war happens in the battlefield called kurukshetra ధర్మక్షేత్రే కురుక్షేత్రే సమవేతాయుత్సవ ఓపెనింగ్ ఆఫ్ ద భగవద్గీత ద ఫస్ట్ వర్డ్స్ సేస్ హౌ ద బ్యాటిల్ ఫీల్డ్ ఇస్ హ్యాపెనింగ్ ఇన్ కురుక్షేత్ర మెనీ కమెంటేటర్స్ అండ్ మెనీ ట్రాన్స్లేటర్స్ స్టిల్ హౌ దట్ దట్ మీన్స్ దట్ దట్స్ ద దట్ బ్యాటిల్ ఫీల్డ్స్ నేమ్ ఇస్ కురుక్షేత్ర ఆర్ ఇట్ ఇస్ ద ప్లేస్ వర్ వర్క్ హ్యాపెన్స్ ఎస్ that is that means some you beautifully reveal the meaning of it the very battle field in which the war is happening is for creation to happen many times in our life we might be fighting with ourselves thinking oh i am not able to do this like for example you want to become fit you keep fighting oh god i'm keep on falling sick i'm falling sick i'm falling sick so when you keep reiterating that that only becomes a reality so somebody always says change the battle field you are in so instead of telling oh i am falling sick oh i need uh, i am not yet i have not yet become a yogi i have not yet become a yogi so your whole fight is on the mode of creation you have the very every time any attack comes on somaji and every time an assassination attempt or any attack comes and if people are trying to put down somji all he does is he expands his contribution expands his work intensifies his hard work and continues making the perders enemy irre- irrelevant and redundant like that's like not even accepting the enemy request 
and expanding like the whole battlefield is now changed now his level is much higher what people are fighting for if they try okay uh, they try putting all kinds of false blatant lies false cases like where there's a, a baseless case somebody doesn't go on reacting to it he never go, comes and reacts to them or gets or mentions anybody's name for past 20 years they have been attacking swami ji and not once swami ji has ever mentioned me one's name and has to anything in the satsang actually even uh, yesterday swami ji was so beautifully sharing in the satsang how all the attacks all the abuses everything that has happened swami ji never even let leave alone getting affected by it he never even let he, uh, the hatred happen in him towards anyone he swami ji beautifully told he would, he distanced himself he made himself beyond the reach of all the uh, all the conspirators and abusers but he never entertain any powerlessness he never entertain any hatred he never like some details i have i don't have enough time to even love the people who love me back but how will i have time to hate the people who hate me it's such a beautiful thing because constantly somji always tells he never even cherishes he never even entertains any one any of these conspirators how many ever people may attack with that too with almost all of these dirty conspirators all of them come eat the food stay in the adinam in the guise of a devotee they come here live in the monastery campus enjoy and eat all the time energy talent treasure the whole thing of the sangha and after enjoying after eating our own food they go out and they abuse even all of these swamiji has never reacted responded 10 over 10 15 years of persecution now not a single time swamiji has even mentioned any of their names reacted like how it comes in mahabharata in bhagavad gita where when the kauravas army when the chief of kauravas army blows the conch from the pandavas army side krishna blows a conch not as a reaction to that conch but just to say that the divine is ready to take the responsibility of the whole war it comes so beautifully like how like it illa the in bhagavad gita describes tasya sanjanayan harsham guru vridha pitamaha means the pitamaha bhishma the chief of the kaurava army opens the battle he blows his conch simhanadam vina dyochai he bhishma blows the conch and uh, to like to tell a uh, message to duryodhana that all of them are ready and uh, he is trying to challenge the pandavas army through his conch after that it was not the response did not come from uh, drishtadyumna who was the commander in the pandavas army instead it was krishna just he declared the divine is ready to accept whatever is happening in the uh, whole battlefield the divine krishna is ready to take on the responsibility for it that is why he uh, blows his conch panchajanya what does this signify never always the divine never continues the karma chakra when the kauravas are trying to send their enemy request krishna even before it goes and reaches all the pandavas he is in uh, intervening and just liberating them from that karma chakra by him blowing the conch and by him declaring telling he uh, is ready 
there to accept the responsibility to take on the responsibility of a whole world that is exactly what songs ji does that is exactly when anybody tries sending the enemy request when when anybody tries coming and attacking swami ji when so many people so many attackers so many abusers want they try challenging swami ji he does not tell anything to them he does not react to them he just increases intensifies his hard work his sacrifice his tyaga and just changes the whole battlefield actually yesterday um, like you were sharing uh, before also yesterday swami ji was making a very important point in the satsang he was saying um, that at age of 14 swami ji left his home to make home for hindus at the age of 40 swami ji gave up his very nation to make a nation for hindus why i am telling this is because every time not just that swami ji did not accept any me request all of that i feel is like a too small thing because every time swami ji has grown way beyond than what the persecutors and conspirators try to stop him means if there are obstacles in swami ji uh, like if the conspirators do not allow swami ji to do annadan in one place swami ji created thousands of kailasas with more than billion free organic meals served to people 53 days swami ji was kept in illegal imprisonment and basic food and water was denied to swami ji 53 days he was kept in the prison that is what humanity had to had given him he was kept in prison without giving food or water but what swami ji is giving to humanity is continuously every day in the thousands of kailasas all across the globe continuous annadan free food organic sattvic free food best quality of food is being served it is not a joke especially now during the covid time and people are all still the whole economy is in a very imbalanced way and people are trying different methods so many economic uh, uh, economic policies are more of how they can preserve things how so they are curtailing many of their services outside but swamji has only intensified his services even more swamji has been giving so much like free food free education to people he is going on giving 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 to humanity more and more actually if you all see this this one thing always moves me like anything is okay all these satsangs everything okay swami ji is god swami ji is parmashiva all that is fine but even for all of us we may um if you bring up a pet okay seven years let's say five years one one year we get so attached to it it becomes a part of our family it becomes so much like if it dies i have seen people way like the i have seen people who get so attached to it we make it very much like, part of our family like it, it's it's not even something like we're not telling it's something wrong but like we how we all know the pain how it it feels when someone like even a pet who's very much a part of us or even if your home you build a home and something happens to the home anything basically anything which you put your life and you give your life it becomes like your own you it hurts you it becomes like your own part now a person even if you even if he is an incarnation he has in his vyakta form in his human form he has given his whole life from his birth he has dedicated his whole life for hinduism in the time of youth where everyone like youth is a prime time of everyone's life that time he had given up everything taken up monkhood and started serving people and with his hard work one at a time 
a small village boy who didn't even know english who didn't even know anyone around who didn't even know what los angeles was a small village boy just out of his sheer hard work one at a time one at a time swamiji started healing people driving riding cycle for 20 kilometers going house to house house to house healing people and with his hard work built hundreds of kailasas created a spiritual ecosystem incubator his whole mission for 25 years and in the campus in the very place that he built with his blood sweat life and energy what was once a forest what was once a so old uh, snake venom park where some 500 snakes had escaped and the land was so totally unkempt like no one was able to use it that whole thing he made it into an international organization of just for hindus and reviving sanatan hindu dharma that one place the main headquarters which place yes. we are all talking about is bidhi yes, just that so uh, which has the university the sacred arts university the uh, free annadan happening continuously the temple the big golden temple and the largest library everything is there and after all of that in that very campus that swami ji had put his life blood sweat and energy these conspirators jumped in said barged in trespassed with weapons knives to kill and attack swami ji overnight literally swami ji was pushed out of his own campus what he built for 25 years swami ji had to stand outside the gate leaving everything that belonged to him his sanyasis his his whole his banyan tree his temple gurukul library everything and still the first statement if it was me or you or any of us first we would i don't even think we will be alive because our whole life is destroyed we'll just go and commit suicide or we might i don't know what we will do just imagine but and see imagine because I, if the source of their life with like is taken off yes exactly and for anyone they'll just go they'll just destroy everyone who did this to them they will cry they will commit to say anything it, it will be all extremes swami ji stepped out and the first thing he told it is time for us to make a safer place for hindus it is time for us to make nation Lord. for hindus that moment honestly i have i have been i know swami ji for 7 years from the time i learned anything in life i have i have known swami ji but that one moment it just shook i don't know even now as i'm telling i'm just getting goosebumps how can someone be like so like selfless absolutely nothing about himself everything fully thyaga based and just sheer hard work that is something that even to this day amazes all of us it's even even for you like just imagine and see even if you have built your home putting all your money and effort and ill and unfairly illegally snatched away from you how would you feel if you're kicked out of it how would you feel but from this response was to create a hindu nation and he has made it now let us all get ready to have his darshan let us prepare our inner space to have his darshan please sit straight sit at the head neck and spine in a straight line close your eyes and chant the mahavakya 
ಓಂ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಪರಮಶಿವೋಹಂ ಇಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ಲಿ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಪರಮಶಿವೋಹಂ ಶಾಂತ ಮಹಾವಾಕ್ಯ